All right, everybody. Welcome to Maddie's C Sports for you and me. And we're here with my friend, legendary, and I mean legendary, four-time Stanley Cup champion from Detroit Red Wings and member of the grind line. If you don't know, then you're an idiot. Uh, Darren McCarty, number 25. How are you doing today, Darren? Hi, buddy. I'm doing good, Maddie. See, great to be on. Thanks for repping. Uh, I see you got the grind time uh, shirt on and uh, you're repping that out, bro. So uh, great to be back with you. Always great to talk and uh, looking good. I like the background. So always great to catch up, buddy. Always great to talk. What do we got? What are we talking about today? Well, I see you got some interesting stuff going on. I mean, I was happy to see, you know, I, I like to see how you're doing because uh, you're such a good guy and you always, you know, you coming on my show, I appreciated it. So I was like, oh, let's see what he's up to this time. And I didn't know you're such a like uh, big uh, marijuana advocate, but I'm glad that you are now. So what are the like regulations in Michigan? Well, you know what? Listen, I tell everybody um, when they get a little upset and if you're one of the 15 percent like you are, um, you know, has a common sense, you're a DMAC fan, right? So I said, yes, don't worry sir. about it because in, Mich in Michigan, right, gambling is legal, mm -hmm. cannabis is legal, re recreationally, medically, and I have a radio show from 7 to 8 o'clock Friday nights on the most Republican old school station, WJR, right, the Darren McCarty show, which I get to talk about cannabis, which I get to talk about everything else. So Things are slowly coming around in every way. Like you said, I'm busy. Why am I such an advocate? If you look at the Darren McCarty brand and why I created that is because uh, cannabis saved my life. I'm an alcoholic, insomniac, and pretty much to spare you the details, you can read my book, My Last Fight, True Story of a Hockey Rock Store, or just Google me. But my stuff was exploding. I was pretty much near death and thanks to the cannabis and the, and the love of the cannabis community here in Michigan and the caregiver program is that they brought me back from the dead and uh, I'm coming up with it. If I drink, I die. That's mm -hmm. easy, but don't be mad. Don't be like, it could be worse. I could be a diabetic. It could be chocolate, man. That would really mess up my edible high. So um, we joke around all of it, but at the bottom line, it's get educated, get medicated because you know, reefer madness and all this other stuff isn't true. You know, yeah, so for right, me, exactly. it's, and, and honestly, Maddie, honestly, for me, the THC is for your head, right? So, so that what the THC is, it's the doorman and the enforcer and the way that the cannabinoids, right? Which yep. this plant and endocannabinoid system, which we all have. So we're talking about this specific plant to feed your system like a food processor. So you're just responsible what you get in, in the cannabinoid wise, and then how they interact. So, so if you hear about the CBDs, right? The CBDs, that's for your body. That's mm -hmm. for everybody. That's no high, that's no buzz. That's why Thanksgiving coming up, the Darren McCarty brands unveiling our um, CBD roll on, which will be in, it can be e-commerce. I'll be sending you some and it's uh, what it is. It's, it's the taken from the hemp mm -hmm. and it's like a roll on and it's a pain reliever. And it's, um, it's, we spent two years on it. Uh, uh, the healer shaman Brent, uh, we have documented, you know, we use uh, Madagascar vanilla. It's a long story, but it's stuff that there's a story behind everything. Right. I always want to tell you why, like, this is what I do, but this is why I'm doing it. And why do I do that? Because that's what I've had to learn to deal with myself. Right. So if that helps other people deal with themselves, it's, it's, it's not right, wrong. It just is what is, but why do I think that way? Why do I act that way? A lot of times it is because you are in pain, you're tired, you, you know, you're hungry. It's all these different things. And if you can access you know, the specific thing that is bothering you. Most people, it's sleep. You get a good exactly. night's sleep, you can attack the day, right? So yeah. it's all started this conversation, bro. And the fact that, that look, we're in two different states. We're a couple of guys that like hockey and a couple, you know, one that played and, but just out of respect for, for one, one another as human beings, it's to expand the message, right? So, and the best thing about cannabis, right? It's your personal journey. 
right? I'm not the doctor. Right. I'm not going, I can, I can advise you what worked for me and I can give you my education on it, but I'm not writing you scripts and saying, going to do this and something that's going to kill you. If you miss do it, you'll with cannabis, you probably only do it one time, but you get educated because you don't want your body to feel that way again, because it's a different natural feeling. So that's why I got at real Darren McCarty, Darren McCarty brand grind time with Darren McCarty, Darren McCarty.com. Anything Darren McCarty, get a hold of me because I'm always ready to answer questions on what do you mean by that? What I don't do is argue. I'm not here to argue. Right. Google and, me. That's, and that, it. It, that's a great thing, my man. Um, coming from Massachusetts point of it, um, I myself have a card. And, you know, the thing I like about the medicinal part of it when you in, compared to recreation is, you know, you're getting more educated on what your what you're smoking and you know like if i like you said yourself like if i'm interested in something like where i'm hungry then i have i have a, um, a plant for that or if i need to you know uh, i'm just depressed in a way then i i go to that like you know that's what the good thing about about medicinal and recreational so, at some points um i think it's a big well thing. they're bad that well, the, oh. the, the best thing, right? I agree a hundred percent, million percent. The medical is the most important because it's the education, but what the recreational brings is the fact that the people that are scared to ask the questions now that, that are afraid they're breaking the law, now they can go in and ask a question. So what I always tell people is I'm not interested in the what, I'm not interested in, in the what, I'm interested in the who, right? Mm -hmm. Don't tell yeah. me what, you tell me who. Meaning that if I, if you came to Michigan and you said, DMAC, I'm looking for something like this. And I sent you to the green genie or the green Buddha or the reef, or I sent you, you know, that all you have to do is walk in and I'll probably tell you, ask for Terry, ask for Jimmy, ask for Bobby, whoever's there. The minute you walk in, you feel family, comfortable, any question ain't a stupid question. So, so that's the whole thing. And that's why I travel throughout Michigan with the Darren McCarty brand exclusively out for Pencana. So my licensing is with the largest seed to sale. Um, we call it Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory of Weed. It's 135,000 <laughs> square feet. So just like you, it's, it's unbelievable. It's like Millennium Falcon, Death Star, everything top that's notch awesome. in Michigan. But it's about finding the right people because it doesn't matter if you're in Massachusetts, you're in Michigan, you're in California. And I don't care if we're talking about cannabis, we're talking about cars, we're talking about toilet paper. It's not the what, it's the who. And you know, that's why you and I are talking. It's the who. I say check out my boy Matt EC. And that's it. And then they right. get checked out. Same with you, brother. I mean, I mean, the the way you you speak to me like I'm a human being. Some interviews I'm like have people that are like, oh hey, I'm gonna leave, but hey, whatever. But anyways, so your your brand but, um, but but you understand, but you under listen, but you understand that. Listen, everybody, I I encourage everybody, this is your you know, you're right. So you put that everybody should have this journal. And I always keep a journal, right? I I I'll forgive, but I don't forget, bro. Right. And you, you've you seen on my resume in uh, and the brightest light of what I will do, not bearing repercussion. And uh, the thing is, is that the big fellow upstairs, he sort of blesses me a little bit. Right. He's got my yeah. back. So yeah. the fact is, is that and, and it's your responsibility to, to, to just call it like you see it, because that's all I do. I call it enjoy my truth. You right. know, and, some, and people are different and it doesn't matter what they do, but you understand that that life's about, and this is a great tip because this is what I learned from Scotty Bowman, the greatest hockey coach of all time, right? You can look at it two ways. You can, he either treated everybody the same differently or he's where you learned you don't treat everybody the same because everybody's not the same. If you needed to tell Sergey Fedorov, you need to do this, you need to do this, and you need to do this a little bit more and more and more. And then you told Darren McCarty, don't ever do that ever again. It's yeah. the same message, right? Yeah. It's so, yeah. who are you talking to? So it's all about, you know, it's all about, it's all about, it because dude, we're in 2020. We've all lived through this COVID stuff together. Like it's right. like, the you, you Amer like I'm Canadian, so I could say this, like, because I'm a resident alien. So I don't, I don't have to vote. 
you know, thank goodness and stuff like this, because that's a shit show in itself you guys got going on over here. Now, I just gonna, I just do what I do, Bob and Weave, either way, how it goes, the ship rocks. But, you know, there's so, what my point is being there's so much going on. I'd like to see people take control of at least, you know, their information and, and, and stuff like that and making decisions because it's not right or wrong. As I tell my guys, it says, you know what, we're doing this, we're doing it together right wrong or indifferent we're going down together we're going up together it doesn't matter we're doing it together and that's to me that's what life's all about oh absolutely and um that's definitely true and i can appreciate that um so your company um so you deal with a company called is it it's pronounced pincana or pincana yep so um like when did you start with them and like what how did they how did you so, like partnership with them so here here's how the, and here's how the process um played out so as the you could see the tide turning or not turning but as people were positioning and and going into 2018 or six, whenever the ballot was and and I was you know, coming out, I started my grind time podcast and, and it was always about not the what it's the who. So what happened is I wanted to, and I didn't want to see the licensing is the best part when I can represent everything. Cause the Darren McCarty brand is for me to create and it's for like the like-minded people. So you have to be on the same page as me or else it just doesn't work because I don't, I'm not a sellout. I'm like a Mandalorian. That's how I like to Love it. present myself, like the Mandalorian. So Love I'll come it. in and out and we can all court, congregate someplace, but nobody's got my, uh, I work too hard that nobody's got my voice, right? So enjoying right. my truth. So what happens is you re meet the right people. And so the radical genetics guys that do the growing and stuff are, I'm big fans. I've been smoking their flower for a long time and they're great guys and they're buddies of mine. So it, it turned out that the people involved and where I where I lived when I played mm -hmm. is in the, one of the Jewish communities in West Bloomfield. And a lot of the investors in this company are, are from them and know me from there. So they know my story and what I'm about. And it's just people that believed in me and believed in my story and get behind and, and know motivated. So that's how, so I decided when we created the brand is to, be, to get the right people and it took time because this is like two years ago, right? Yeah. So, so, so it wasn't until February of this year, and because of COVID and stuff, that the the engines were fired up. We've been working at twenty percent uh, up until middle of October. Now we're at we're at full capacity, but in the cannabis business, it's still up, and you know, so that means you know a few months and stuff, even though it's a state of the art. But things are are working. And progress is being made and from going to see from it being built. And like I said, 135,000 square feet is a lot of real estate plus uh, outdoor yeah. hoof houses and everything. And it's got everything. So it's, it's just amazing. And I go in there, honestly, bro, and I'll go to the outdoor hoop houses and I'll just stand in the middle. And there's a uh, great picture. I, I don't know. I don't have it, but I'm just standing there. I got my eyes closed and it's just, it just makes me feel it's all it's like the, the spirituality just the the nature and everything else it's all part of my journey and that's something that you know it, it's because here's the whole thing maddie the, the thing is it, it's about the option my responsibility is do you know you have an option and when i ask you and i said do you know you have an option you say yes i gotta move on so when you say no i don't move on in fact it's not about whether you use or you don't in fact selfishly I wish you didn't use there'd be more for me but that's not the way it works thank goodness it's weed yeah, and it yeah. just keeps growing right yeah so 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 it's really about relationships so now I've got five different pre-rolls um out there right now in the Darren McCarty brand and we're going to launch a CBD roll on which is e-commerce which means we can get it sell that CBD everywhere and then then um next will be uh one-to-one -one gummies, one-to-one -one chocolates. And then I got two two flowers that probably will be around next uh, cup season. So probably in the next eight months, but uh, looking to unveil uh, Sweet Revenge in uh, four cups. So 
Um, four cups is a hybrid. Uh, it's a it's a Tiva hybrid. It's probably right in the middle, 50-50, but uh, okay. Sweet Revenge. Sweet Revenge is for March 26, 97, knocking the turtle out, and that's a freak. That's a night night. That's a couch. Yeah, I love I love me on the couch stuff, my man. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's because so, you take it down, right? Yeah, we, yeah, exactly. We operate. So, so here's a little lesson to everybody out there. This is something that I like to share because I just, and especially when I just learned that, that naturally, just like people understand you, you serotonin we've heard of and, and, and adrenaline and everything that your body naturally develops, but you naturally, because you have an endocannabinoid system, you, everybody develops, has a natural cannabinoid usage now. Some are lower, some are higher, and and the correlation doesn't always make it. But people that people that tend to have to use more or use more have a higher velocity of of cannabinoids running through their body as somebody who doesn't use as much. But again, the biggest difference from everybody else health wise is because it takes a hundred years to right or wrong, and it and what happened was when they took the hemp away from the animals away from the cows, away yep. from the milk that we drank, your body. So your grandparents, great-grandparents, great-great-grandparents, they were, you know, that old, tough, whatever, because their systems were flowing because of what they ate, ate the hemp and all that. When they took it away, then when it's all probiotics and it's all chemicals and it's all cancers. And yeah. So so at least you understand, you know, and, and, and then you understand what you put in your body. Yeah, and you just gave me knowledge that I didn't even know about with with how the, it's not just hey I'm gonna grow something real quick and that's it. You you just there's a lot of no. steps to it, you know. And I'm well, glad you, you have know, your own steps to it. And I need to try that four cup, man. That that seems like yeah, a delicacy well, right there. It won't be out. Uh, it will be a delicacy, bro. Probably in about the next year, because uh, we thought we had the right female, but it's down to two you know it's funny because these and that's what i say is if you live your life resilient and patient like the plant mm -hmm. it's like you can have a timetable but that's not the timetable that's just you're just throwing it out there oh okay like that and if you you know sort of go go with the flow and that's in life and, right. and you know as in cannabis so you know that that and and it's all about the conversation so the fact that if you and that's the best part is that, that when i'm around a lot of, you know, my cannabis people, it, like, people get the wrong, it's not, everybody's just like, all you know, high and all, no, it's like exchanging information, exchanging knowledge, exchanging education, you know, like that, I don't have time to do all this research myself, but I have time to listen and mm -hmm. process and be able to repeat and then to go look it up or to have somebody confirm it for me and, and then it's conversations like this and people listening and stuff. So it's great. Absolutely. And I got a lot of friends who are pro pro cannabis and they'll watch this and go, Oh man, like, this is amazing. You know, like you're talking to a, a, a hockey player who had a big career and, you know, was a big advocate like this, like, you know, and I appreciate that you, you educating me and you're also educating a lot of people that I know and a lot of people that are listening to my show, which is great. Well, and you know what, Matt? If you want to start a Matty C uh, question of the cannabis question of the week, you send me send me a question, and 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 you know what I'm saying. We can answer because it's about like when I say that I'm here, I'll answer. What do you mean by that? It's all day long. What I'm not here to do is argue, right? Because it's people yeah. that like I I say it's like Mortal Engines, the movie, right? Where London's driving around, except we're good. We're shining the light. And people who are in the dark, come on out to the light, but you got to leave your dark there. Whatever you need. So, Darren, I got one little factoid that I saw from you. Um, it's a Colorado. Well, if I could join you and I could ask you a Colorado question. Absolutely. So, when you were in the playoffs and you were playing against them, you know, I saw seven of your 20 goals at the time were scored on Patrick Waugh. That like, to me, that's great. Like, yeah. 
with all the battles you guys had. And I remember we were talking about the Claude Lemieux thing and we got that, I'm not saying we got that out of the way, but I mean, like that was just the main focus. And like it, I, that, the other stuff is what I like. And what we were also talking about your game winning goal against the Flyers. I love that information about you. I like when you told me about how you would hit guys, knock their ass on the ice and make them smell the octopus stink on the ice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude, I'll tell you this about, so I, you know, I do Darren McCarty slaps the comment. I've been traveling around Michigan and I just did the Toledo and stuff. So uh, I'll, you know, tell stories and, and, you know, different things like that. But I tell everybody, I said, you know what? I'll give you a secret. You can use this one because this is what I do. When I'm having the worst day, yeah, it could always be worse, bro. Uh, you know why? You just brought it up. No, but you brought it up because it could be worse because you could be Patrick Waugh. Now, I'm not saying it because as you saw, I think I ended up scoring like maybe eight of my 22 playoff goals on him. But pretty much, he's a Hall of Famer, but I own him. But that's not the point. The point is, I scored so many goals on him, that's got to burn his ass. But he got his ass kicked by a 50-year-old midget cowboy goalie in Mike Vernon. <laughs> and then the next year, he come, next year, bro, he comes back. Tries to fight 12-year-old little Chrissy Osgood. Never had a fight in his life except against his five-year-old sister, which he's 0-3 on, right? <laughs> and he beats Patrick Waugh's ass. So he's got – if that's what I say. Karma will carry it around. He got his ass kicked by both Detroit goaltenders, and plus I scored all his goals on him, but big deal with that one. The only ass could he kicked was that boards he pushed over. Hey, uh, good hey. goalie. Hall of, Hall of Famer. Yeah, but you also had a great goalie in Chris Osgood, and Vernon was good too. Awesome. Oh yeah, dude, the, the 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 midget cowboy, he was awesome. You know what I mean? And and you got to remember, 95, 96, 97. I mean, it was a team effort. Chris Osgood is a Hall of Famer, four hundred wins. He doesn't get see. He's one guy that just because people have a perception because he looks like a little kid. That kid's a freaking like an assassin when it comes to competition and mm -hmm. he was like, we're not letting it on, but he competes and we've been competing, bro. We came in together in the minors, right? When we were 20 years old, we lived above each other. I lived with the, my baby mama at the time. And, and he lived downstairs in my castle. And we used to play Sega 93 all the time, you oh, know, trying to make game. Lead and stuff like oh unbelievable i was chicago he was vancouver and mike castman was washington we just play get hammered and play all night long and that was it we just talk about making it to the nhl it was awesome so he's one of my best buddies but he's he and and the great thing now is he does um you know commentating for fox sports and the wings cast so now you get to see his comfortability and his personality because he messes around with those guys so much but he was the prankster in the dressing room Best Chris Osgood story. He used to do this to me about once a month. He'd sew my car keys into my pants pocket or my shorts <laughs> pocket. So you, it was great. You know, in the summertime or in spring or playoffs, you go out with your shorts, you know, going to your car, you go to get it. You can't, because you got to remember you're in the dressing room. So it's not like just little it's like twine or whatever. So you got to actually rip your pocket out or take your, take your pants off to get your keys now that's all great when it's nice out but when it's like minus 10 degrees and they lock the door behind you and you're going commando in the middle of winter and you got to rip those <laughs> pants off take them off and you're fuck naked out in the parking lot and the boys are laughing at you that, that yeah that gets a little old quick bro yeah and that's Aussie for you I thought it was great you know like during that time they had those commercials this is when I was a, like I was young back then and I would watch your like the commercials for the Stanley Cup playoffs and 75% of the, the commercial was you guys in yeah. Prince playing uh cup crazy. Uh, let's go crazy. You know, it's like, yeah, those were, uh, how, good, how good you guys were. It, it was, it was awesome to always see you guys play. And I, like I said, I never liked Colorado anyways. And me and you d discussed before that the only good one is Joe Sackick. Um, yeah, yeah, because we used to watch him play. Yeah, and you know what? I got to call it, I, you know what? I got an update for you, bro, because you know what? I call it like I see it. So I would say that I. 
before I went out to Colorado about a month ago because mm-hmm. we're doing a bunch of stuff. Scott Parker's uh, become a great friend of mine. Just a lot of the tough guys, Riley Cote and in Philly, and um, you know, so uh, so it was the first time I got to hang out with Adam Foot when I was out there, and I'll tell you, he is their Chris Chelios, which I mean, prick to play against, hate the guy, but absolute, you could tell why he was loved by his teammates. I got so much love for Adam Foot as as a dude and as a teammate, and hearing stories, and he so reminds me of what Chris Chelios was. You know, he's, he's so the the God. So insane as much as hated playing against him and thought he was a, you know, uh, a certain way, but a competitor, great dude. So That's Adam awesome. puts a great dude from Darren McCarty. So it's uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. I got to spend a few, few days with him, and you know, it's 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 nice now that we're retired. You know, and the battles behind that, you know, we can all talk about it because for the most part you know we're we're all in this together and that's the biggest thing with the puck support foundation you know with with the stuff that we're trying to do um you know with our chapter stuff and it's just about communication and letting guys uh guys know i was watching actually yesterday the bruins one of my favorite bruins pj stock right oh yeah baby that little pisser so he was doing 42? that. 42? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Dude, and he's great. And he's phenomenal with his analysis and his post-career and stuff. But what a competitor. And, like, those those guys fighting. And I always remember we had like, the highlight fight of him and Steve and Pete. But just, like, these guys just put some snot at each other. But just I saw an interview with him giving back to, to, to you know, um, heroin to hockey or hockey to heroin. Uh, podcast that a Brady Lee of all the buddy of mine who's you know didn't make it to the pros but you know has uh, sort of reached out I've been mentoring him but it's nice to see the connection hockey world right doesn't matter and it's the same thing because it's it's like the wrestling with sports podcast that I do young and uh, Jason Kendall right mm-hmm. it's our love of wrestling so it's it doesn't matter it's the connection of you know our love of hockey and then it's the people, right, bro? So yeah, and I love I appreciate, how we can I talk appreciate about, you know it's it's awesome, and I love how we can Every, talk about hockey and then switch to cannabis and all that stuff. It's it's really fun talking absolutely. with you. And uh, you too, but hey, let me ask you this: what what are your uh, see? How do you, how are you like? I gotta ask you this as uh, doing my uh, Detroit media due diligence. What's your feeling um, for your Bruins coming out of the draft, going into the going into next season? Like, I mean, it, it, like, see, you guys are in a different situation, right? Because you you're there. I mean, you're got some of the guys at the end of the run, so you're like uh, 08 or maybe 02, 03, that cup stuff like this. But the next flux, but you're already statue. See, we're in Detroit we're adding pieces and, you know, we're still excited, but we're fighting for a playoff spot. How are you as a Boston fan after the draft looking forward to next season? See us Boston fans are very picky. We always want the big, we always want the big dog. We always want the number one pick. We always want the, how do I compare it? Like, like a poster knock. We always want like a big like name like that to be on our squad. But it always doesn't work like that. Just like, you know, Detroit, they're on a building year. And you guys got some young talent. Like, you really do. Um, I, I like their their players. Um, what's that guy with the long-ass name? He begins with the A. He's a forward for you no, guys. No, he's in Edmonton. Anthony Steele. Anthony Steele got traded to uh, Oh, they to traded Edmonton. him? Oh, man, that guy was a quick little traded, man. Uh, how, yeah. But yeah, I mean, but but again, um, he but he's one of the right? new NHL is speed. The old NHL was size, right? You, yeah. you get that comparison. Oh, absolutely. So, so whereas the right the old NHL, if you were six foot five, you'd end up on like eight teams before you wouldn't have a chance to make it, even though you shouldn't have made it on the first team. Right <laughs> nowadays, that speed will carry you around for your whole career. You'll see these guys playing eight teams 
you know, 10 years because they were fast. Right. So it's just understanding the process. Right. And you got, you know, rest in peace, uh, Bob Probert. I mean, that guy was unbelievable. Oh, yeah. Nobody really knew he was a good hockey player too. And he, he, Great hockey player. he could bang too, man. Hey, you know what the best story about that is in 88 when he went to the all-star game he's, and it's Wayne Gratzky and Messier and you know, all those guys. Eiserman said that all the top guys would come over to Steve and go, hey, can you introduce this to Proby? Hey, can you introduce this to They all wanted to meet Proby, right? And, yeah. and he was that larger than life. And he was. like the rev- He was just the biggest teddy bear, the greatest guy, you know. You know, and, and the thing, see – I know this because I've experienced life to life's fullest terms yep. is that you run by people who do things, but they don't, they, they do it and they don't want to hurt the other people in the process. You know what I mean? But they yep. do, you know, but not, not, you know, that's not their thought to do it where other people are. They're, their main thought is to hurt people as they do this, as they're going down. Well, probably never wanted to hurt anybody or never wanted anybody to go down with them, you know, like stuff like that. He was just a fun loving dude. And, you know, it's unfortunate, but it's, it's, yeah. I, we've lost everybody's, everybody's lost, whether it's in sports, whether it's in life through this COVID, whether it's family, whatever right. it is. So it's just appreciate what you got. Exactly. Um, yeah. The, uh, <laughs> Just a small fact for you, Darren. I was born in '88. That's how old. That's how young I am, am compared to Bob Probert. <laughs> I love it, bro. I love so, it, dude. That, so that, that, my go. last thing to you, Darren, before you go. Um, so with your um, your brand with the cannabis, there. Um, so are you guys able to branch out to different states, like such as Massachusetts? Are you only stamped in Michigan for right now? For right now, uh, it's Michigan, but with the CBDs, because the CBDs are governed by the FDA, the food. So, yeah. so they, they can be sold everywhere. So you'll see the CBD line, the roll on, the different stuff like that probably in Massachusetts before. We will be looking, you know, for, for different licensing. I'd like to have licensing everywhere throughout the country um, just to be able to ha- let, let people access, you know, the med- medication that I'm able to produce that has worked to keep me alive. And anybody needs proof, just go look at a few pictures of me from five, six, seven, eight years ago. Not very good. Yeah. Well, Darren, as always, a good time talking to you, and I'm glad that we dealt with the cannabis part of it. We dealt with the hockey part of it, the quick avalanche rant. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'd, I'd uh, love to have you on the show again or be on your show, what it may be. Absolutely. Absolutely. We're uh, just so you know, we're just uh... – Probably grind times in hiatus for uh, until the new year, but we're okay. revamping again. But uh, definitely, um, I'm a, I'm a, hey, I got time, bro. I, you always got my ear, man. I always enjoy talking to you. Yeah, same with you, man. Uh, throw me some of that CBD, man. <laughs> when when it comes out, Thanksgiving. All right, cool. Send you, we'll we'll send you some out, brother. Awesome, and uh, yeah, Darren, thanks again, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. And stay safe and. Keep golfing while you can. Yeah, I will. Check out uh, at Real Darren McCarty and Darren McCarty Brands. Thanks, guys. All right. Thank you.